بسم الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اوكي ذن وي هاف تو كونتينيو ذا ذا كونسلتيشن سيشن اباوت ميجاترون توداي وي ار تراين تو دو سام كوريكشن اباوت ذا ريدكشن اوف شابتر 3 اوكي ان شابتر 3 يا وي هاف Uh, we have some modification to do. We have some modification to do. Uh, it's help. You are here. It's help. Okay. Now uh, we have some modification to do. The uh, yeah, yes, the global, the global, the global uh, remark. The global note is about the description on how the architecture works. The plus important is to explain how the architecture works. D'accord. This is this is the main idea of this chapter. We have we have here some definitions about, for for instance, logism. We have logism. We have a, a chisel. A small description about chisel, and we start the description of gigatron here. We talked the the last time that gigatron is essential here. Mohim Jiddan is essential here because that was our base. But in this section, you have to describe how it works. That means you have to describe this schematics. You have to describe that we have PC, the address, and the PC goes to the ROM, and the ROM we have the instruction. Uh, split onto uh, the curve. You have to explain how it works. How it works. This you have to explain this schematics. Uh, why? Because uh, when you have the reader, you have to understand our architecture, and it's very important. And this is the main uh, chapter dis to describe this part. Anyway, anyway, we have, for instance, uh, to uh, if we see, for instance, okay, let's. Uh, Let's get some remarks. For instance, you have to add the reference. Uh, yes, you have to, to do that. When you add, use a figure like this, you have to reference it inside the text. You have to say here inside the text, like in figure, I don't know, figure three, for instance. For instance. Is that clear? Yes, you have to add the mention, the mention, the reference of the figure inside the paragraph. Each each uh, figure should be affiliated, should be put inside the paragraph. This is uh, this is uh, obligatory. This is obligatory. You have to do that. Uh, what do we have here? We have this uh, sentence. If you if you check this, uh, uh, where in page. Uh, Where am I? On page two. In page two, you have this. I don't know. This is not uh, suitable for the paragraph. Tutorial are available here. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? It's app. It's, it's not here. Anyway, you have to uh, to uh, to delete that. You don't have a tutorial here. And you have uh, in this part uh, Yes, I will talk about that uh, la later. And we have uh, For instance, here, what does a DSL means? You have to uh, give some small definition of, about the meaning of DSL. Of DSL. Uh, we have this remark here. And simulation is easier to use from uh, scripted language, such as Python. Chisel can generate very useful reading materials. Uh, 
uh, I don't know if uh, Chisel uh, can be simulated by Python, but this is not the main idea. We don't simulate with Python in Chisel. We don't use that. We don't use Python. Uh, Sarah, you don't have uh, you don't have sound. Anyway, what we have we have here another thing. We have uh, the compiler LVMM. You have to give a reference. You have to give a reference for this. Reference for what? For uh, for a link or a description of uh, LLVM. Because it's not so well known, what is LLVM? A reference? Yes, I know, but it's more complicated than that. Uh, it's a, it's a sp special technique. This is the name, but uh, really, it's a special technique to use compilation. And you have to uh, give a link to uh, of a book or something or some document to describe the mechanism. The importance is not in, in the name. The importance is the is the mechanism. We have an intermediate uh, language which is fertile. This is part of a, a, a compiled process. A compiled process. We have the fertile in the middle, and we have our high language which is chisel and we have uh, the low language is uh, very low uh, the, the, the main idea here is to, to, to describe this this is the main uh, this is the main uh, technique used for C compiler that used inside LLVM if you give only LLVM we don't get this uh, this whole idea of compilation do you understand me? Okay. Uh, and and for this simulation is easier with Python. We don't need to talk about uh, Python here because we are not using Python. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to uh, simulate with Python. And here the main uh, I will uh, come back to this. This is the main uh, the, the the main flow. Of this chapter. This chapter is used to describe how the architecture works. You have to describe, you have to write, you have to explain how this architecture works. The main, uh, the main chapter is to describe this. You have to write a description of the working of this schematic. Uh, Okay, let's continue. Uh, Gigatron, and you have used this freaky way. On a freaky way, this is not academic language. You can't put that inside a thesis, inside a, a manuscript. A freaky way, it's not. It's not a proper language. To you, it's not academic language to put inside the manuscript. Uh, what do we have here? And uh, there is a CPU mod available. available. Uh, here too. TTL 7400, you have to give a reference. You have to give uh, a Wikipedia page or something uh, that defines what is TTL uh, 74. Even for you, like, uh, like student, you know exactly what is it. But like uh, for the other, uh, other persons, not in the our specific domain uh, did not know what means TTL 7400. You have to give a reference. You have to give a reference to explain what is the TTL 74. Uh, we are here 17 instruction. We have eight instruction, not 17. The assembly code. Where did you get this 17? In assembly, we have only eight. We studied them. And we have, we have eight. We don't have 17. And we have this, for this uh, 
16 bit V virtual CPU interpreter. Uh, this point doesn't uh, match uh, with what is follow. Uh, follows the Van Human architecture and runs programs from RAM. This is separated from the interpreter. Here you have to talk about the interpreter. You have to explain the interpreter. You have to, anyway, to give a, a small definition about the interpreter, not the architecture. And this uh, um, uh, MOS uh, uh, 65, it's not important. It's not too important to add that because it's a different uh, processor. It's a different processor. Uh, maybe you, we can program in uh, MOS 75 O2, but it's a different processor. It's not uh, interesting to, uh, to put that. Anyway, the... Uh, okay, let's continue, let's continue. We have here uh, this, this, uh, this uh, kind of uh, sentence. This kind of, we, we also support configurable bank scan 9. Uh, it's not we, we, we uh, the, you are describing, you are describing this architecture. You can say uh, this architecture supports the configurable bank. It's not we. Okay, we have the audio. Anyway, the uh, the main idea, the main idea you have to put a concise characteristic. So, we have to observe. Okay, we have to observe the essential. The most important is the description. This is what we have to do. So, we have to explain the architecture. We have to explain the architecture. The main, uh, the main. Uh, the matter, the main matter of this chapter is the description on how the architecture works. This is exactly what I did when I explained it for you the proper working of this architecture. So, we should not show how to do it. I can't teach you. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You have to reduce, uh, yes, you have to reduce. Uh, in uh, the specifications specification there are lots of specification here you have to get only the essential specification and focus on the description of the hardware, uh, hardware explanation explanation uh, we have this uh, second image the second image is of gigatron and uh, it would be better to change it to megatron now you have to pick the image of Megatron, not Gigatron. We, we pick the, the Gigatron here. And now we take Megatron, our architecture, our implementation. Uh, Megatron should be used here. And more importantly, the explanation of the hardware difference in data path with Gigatron. And after that, uh, after explaining how this micro architecture works, you have uh, in this in this diagram, you have to explain the differences in the data path, the microarchitecture. For instance, here we have uh, uh, what is it? What is it? The, the differences between Megatron and uh, Gigatron are there. We use different parts in IU, for instance. The, uh, do you remember that? Yes, we have. Okay, let's see it briefly. We have. Uh, what is it? Megatron. Okay, Megatron. We have some differences between Megatron and Gigatron. The main differences are there. You have to explain that. I have to write about uh, how we added the keyboard and the game, uh, the game pad, and how we changed the output. It's important here. We changed the output in comparison with Gigatron. We added this register and those outputs. Okay, this is the, the main difference. This is the main difference. هذا هو الاختلاف المهم بين Megatron and Gigatron. سهنا. Those two parts, those two, you have to explain 
those differences. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Megatron. Uh, th this uh, this uh, this uh, the picture of Megatron sh should be put here with this section with the section of Megatron. The section of Megatron. Yes, we have some modifications here. This is a resume. This is a this is a resume. Implementation. Uh, as I uh, delve into the interface, uh, the preference is to, to use we, as we delve. It's not as I, as we delve. As we delve, etc. And we have the code here, the code of the ROM, the code of the RAM, the code of the program counter. Uh, here, uh, you have to add uh, our part, Megatron part, this is the Gigatron part, X out. Those registers, yes, about the Gigatron. And here, for the MIU, the code is not suitable. It, it would be preferable to choose to use Schematex, to use this. What is it? To use uh, this, the schematic, it's much clearer. It's more. Uh, it's clearer. It's clearer. Much more than the code. It's not the same code. Ah, sorry. So, but you can explain it easily. You can't easily explain what is uh, happening here. Yes, you have to put the schematics. Take the schematics. Uh, yes, the schematics uh, instead of the code, instead of the code, or, or uh, uh, yes, uh, or you can draw it, whatever you want. You have to draw or pick uh, a snapshot, whatever you want. The register X, yes, it's a counter. The ALU, the same, the ALU is too big. It's in uh, one page uh, and half, it's too big. We can't do that. It's not appropriate to copy past the code, a big uh, code. You can do that. You can only take small parts of codes. The same for the ALU. For the ALU, you have to, get, to take a schematics. Schematics of the ALU, if you remember, the schematics when you used a big multiplexer and the multipolar, uh, combinational circuit. You have to take the schematics of our ALU with many combinational circuits, and uh, we have a big. If you if you if you remember, we have at the outside uh, the big multiplexer. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it is this this schematics. Uh, okay, we show show it to you. This one, this is what uh, we did uh, in the course. Uh, where is it? No, no, sorry, it's not here. Ah, it's here. This one. This one. Yes. But you have, of course, uh, you have uh, to take, uh, uh, you have to take uh, our, our uh, combinational circuits. We have the add, the subtraction, the end, uh, etc. You have to take our uh, combination circuits. Okay, I will give you this image in Discord. Okay, this is an image, a schematic, when you have to explain. 
how it works. Uh, another important thing I forgot is the function table. The function table you have to uh, to, to 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 put the function table of the value. Do you know what is the function table? You, yes, the, the function table is the, the table that contains all the operation that our ALU can do. Can do. You have to check that, this. This is explained here. This is explained here. In this, in this part, we explain what is in the course. We explain what is the function table. It's very important. When you study an ALU, you have to add to uh, appendix the the, the, the function table. The function table is a table that describes what uh, the ALU can perform, uh, what operations can perform. The same for, uh, I forgot, the same for the MIU. MAU, what is it? Here. For this. What is the MU? For this. You have to add the table. You have, we have a table here. We have a table. This table, we talked already about it. So, the truth table? No? The truth table, yes. A truth table. This one. This one. I will, uh, I will uh, show it. This one. It, it was explained here. Where is it? It was explained here. Uh, we have eight instructions. Those are the eight instructions. Have eight instructions. What is the table? Uh, this is the table. Do you remember that? In page, uh, do you, uh, you, you already have this, uh, this PDF. The page 58, you have this table. This table is, is the address mode, the MIU table. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Uh, we have register X. This is a I guess the register, the register X is a normal register. You can add it with a counter register X. Register, I don't remember. Ah, yes, 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 it's different. Sorry, sorry. I see the I, I, I meant I see, I see, I see register. Sorry. The IC register is the same. I see. I see. It's a normal register. You can add it with other registers. And we have the most difficult. This CU. This CU have to explain how the CU works. I know it's not easy. We take a lot of time to uh, to try to understand uh, what how the CU works. But you have to explain it. And it is very important. It's a very important. Why? Because the the professors, the, uh, the examiners, need to understand how the architecture works. Uh, how uh, how would you do that? How go gone? How uh, would you explain that? Is uh, by going, it's not there. By going, what is it? By going here, by using this, you have to use this this schematic. This schematic. You have to explain this. You have to explain this, but with the modification we did in our architecture. We did some modification here. Do you remember that? Yes. Sir, uh, so explain uh, how uh, our signal. How? 
Uh huh? No. No, you have to explain this. You have to explain how the CU uh, is working inside. inside. You, you, you don't have to, uh, to translate the code directly. If you, if you, uh, if you write, uh, for instance, OL is uh, the... Uh, you are practically writing the instruction or just translating the instruction or just uh, transcribing the instruction. But you have, you have to explain how it works, how the, what uh, each component, uh, what each component is used for. For uh, um, and the most important is is to uh, to remember the, mo the the modification that we did inside this our CU. For instance, we didn't use the decoder. If you remember that, we didn't use that. Yes, change by select one, select zero. You have to, you have to write that. You have to explain. You, you have to uh, to delete that in your explanation. You have to remove it in the explanation. And uh, we have this, I guess, the same. And we have here. We have a difference here. We don't have those uh, this uh, combination. If you, if you remember. We don't have this. Uh, what we did here to output the ILU signals, if you remember. Yes, we, yes, we just uh, output uh, three signals directly without using uh, those, uh, those gates. You have to remove them too. You have to remove this. You have to remove those uh, gates. You have to remove uh, this one too. We don't have the clock, if you remember. You have to remove the clock. We don't have the clock. Uh, those guys are the same. Those guys are the same. And here too, they are the same. This one is the same. This one is the same. This one is the same. Anyway, you have some changes to do to the diagram and the most uh, the most important uh, is to describe how it works. You have to describe here. It's not easy. I, I know that. It's not easy. Why be, it's not easy? Because uh, when uh, you have to explain, for instance, this, uh, you have to talk about the addressing mode. You have to talk about the addressing mode. You have to explain that. It's very important. It's very important to explain that. The eight uh, different addressing mode. You have to explain it, and you have to explain too. You have to explain the uh, this one, this one, this part. This is the uh, by the way. This is the ALU table. This is the ALU table. It's already it's already created here. You have to explain this. You have to explain the conditional branches and. Uh, to explain uh, the addressing mode, the addressing modes, addressing mode. The uh, there there are some relation between the architecture of Megatron. The architecture I mean the assembly, the language, the assembly language. There are. A relation between the assembly language, the architecture, and the the description of the CU, description of the CU. Uh, do you have questions? Okay, I guess. Uh, yes, the CU. It's too big here. It's it's taking uh, practically two pages. It's too big. You have just to put the schematic and explain the schematic. Uh, for the input, like this one, pass in and data, data bus, they are not important. Uh, I think you will uh, not get enough space uh, to explain all the architecture. You, you, you can remove them. You have to see. You have to see. Uh, I guess you will not uh, have enough space. Uh, yes, they are not important. They are very easy. The data bus. 
the data bus and the, uh, the, 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 the data bus is just a multiplexer. And we have the bus in, keyboard and uh, uh, gamepad, they are not important. You can't, you can't delete them. Anyway, they are the, the main, the major modification to do. And this chapter is very important. You have to explain well how our architecture works. This is the idea of this chapter. Okay, uh, did we uh, talk it, uh, about everything? Uh, we have this. Have this. Have some remarks here. Where is it? You have to reduce in the specification and focus in description of the hardware explanation. The specification should be small. This, this should be the specification of Gigatron. Gigatron should be uh, reduced, and you have to also here the the, uh, the most important is to describe how we use it, not the definition. This is about the uh, about Logisim too. Logisim, the uh, the idea is how we use it. Logisim. Use Logisim in simulation. Uh, the, the the features here are not so important. Those features, that's no important. Is the availability. This uh, this part is not important. You have to explain how we use it. We use it Logisim to create our uh, in small paragraph uh, in Logisim, and we use it simulation. And we were able to create some programs and run our programs. Uh, can you understand that? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I guess uh, those are the definition, the modification to do in this chapter. I will uh, send you the modifications. Okay, you have the you have the the, the file the file of modif the correction to do. Okay, do you have questions? Chapter two, yes. Logic simulation. Talking about the same thing. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, which uh, part? Okay, let's see it. I don't remember exactly which part. Excuse me, one minute. I will. Uh... Yes, uh, chapter two, page two. Okay. The first paragraph of uh, the second page. Chapter two.
Uh, this one. Logic simulation via, via versus HDL. Yes. Uh, okay, the distinction between logic simulation and the hardware description language. Ah, I remember that. The, uh, the simulation, uh, in the simulation you talked about the step, the, uh, this, the, the part, the step, uh, the step when you are doing the process of generating the hardware. We have the, 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 a step called, okay, we have a step called the, uh, the simulation. Okay, give me a one minute, please. I will show you. <laughs> in this part, you can see this image. This image, we use this image in, uh, in chapter one, if you remember yes. that. We have the different uh, stage of the uh, the construction of the uh, the construction of the hardware in this part we have simulation what is it for planning placement clock tree routine ship specification synthesis simulation okay give me one uh, one minute uh, I will show you another diagram of this and I will I will explain what are you doing the the main the main problem is here The simulation described in this part is, uh, what is it? Hardware design simulation. Could not find it. Simply this simulation. This is it. We have. If you if you check this uh, this diagram, for instance, this diagram is a diagram for hardware of uh, for the hardware generation. We can read the, there, we have the final stage, we have simulation. This simulation is part of the development. Uh, it's not the uh, part of the, the, the creation, the design. If uh, the main difference between, uh, this is a simulator, uh, between Logisim and between uh, this is this sim is like we did in Chisel, for instance, we do a simulation 
a simulation with, with uh, Icarus, for instance. Icarus is a simulation. Icarus. But you can see the dif that you can see the difference between logism and Icarus. They are not the same. Uh, logism is used to create hardware. It's a tool for the design of the hardware. It's, it's equivalent to chisel. But Icarus is the, the, the circuit is already generated in very log. We have already the circuit and we have to simulate the circuit on the final stages, the final stages to check if it, uh, uh, it match it match our initial design. We have, for instance, in chisel, we designed, for instance, we designed a counter, a counter, PC, counter. We can simulate it in uh, uh, I, uh, in Icarus. This is simulation. This is simulation. It's different from the logism. Logism we are creating, we are used to create. This is the main idea here. This is the main idea. Uh, what you are explaining here in chapter two, what is it? In chapter two, uh, which page? Page two. Second one. Okay. S simulation. What is it? The, if we read, for instance, the discussion between logic simulation and hardware description, language is the difference in goal and the simulation approach for is functional. Yes, uh, the digital, the, the with the behavior of a digital circuit to verify that it functions correctly. Yes, this is you are talking uh, like Icarus. You understand? Yes. Yes, the, the simulation I'm talking about logism. Logisim is not used for verification, it's used for design. You understand? Did I write about logic simulators? Yes. This is it. Logic simulators. You have to write about logic simulators and uh, give like the... Logisim. Like Logisim. Like yes. This is it. Here, here you are talking about simulation like Icarus. Yes. yes. Okay, I got you now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you have other questions? No, I just add the uh, chapter zero. I add the uh, blue spec. Yes, very good. Blue spec. Uh, yes. yes. And that's all. That's fine. That's and fine. I change the sources. Yes, good. Uh, like you tell me, and this is all. Okay, and uh, I told you, I told you uh, already about the figure. Yes, yes. Did you add it? Yes, I write uh, this code. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. If you that's have, all. Yes. that's all. And at the slam, do you have uh, questions? Okay, thank you. We should stop here. Thank you very much. Shukran, shukran jazeelan. Arabi kufran, Arabi kufran, inshallah. Amin, shukran. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum.